The Dolomites are renowned for many things, most notably their Via Ferratas. Today, we're about to do one of the hardest ones. Punta Ana. This is the second episode in a little series that I'm doing, where I'm rating the best Via Ferratas and the Italian Dolomites. After asking different communities on the internet, I made a list of what people's favorite Via Ferratas were. At the end of the video, I'll give this Via Ferrata a score and see how it compares to the rest. By the last episode, I'll let you know which one I think is best. Sunrise! After learning about the Punta Ana Via Ferrata, it took me a while to understand what it actually is. So, Punta Ana is a 2700 meter mountain and the Via Ferrata that takes you there is actually called Giuseppe Olivieri. What people normally do after they summit Punta Ana is take another two Via Ferratas to the top of Tofana di Mezzo which is the third highest mountain in the Dolomites. <sighs> That's exactly what we're gonna do today. That's the start of our Via Ferrata. I'm always a little bit nervous before starting these things because there's been such a long time since I've been exposed to heights and usually the first one's a little bit... <sighs> Such an awkward little ledge. You can feel my feet slipping. What a shot. Holy shit. Wow. That's the fan of the roses. A little bit exposed that one. Doesn't look as bad from here because you don't know how much you're going to be dropping. Now you know how much you would be dropping. Not a lot of food for holds here. But decent handhold. Sheesh. And now you have to bend down for this thing. Ah, God. I can feel my foot cramping in that position. For anyone that had plantar fasciitis before, there was an awkward spot back then where I was holding on to, on such a little ledge with my foot. And I could just feel the tear. There's nothing like having nothing underneath you to encourage you not to slip. It's a nice feeling when you're high enough that you can see the cross on the top of Tofana. This one's a bit more challenging than I expected in a pleasant way. Yesterday I did the Ivano di Bona Via Ferrata, which is graded as 2B, I think. The one behind, Giovanni Lipella, that goes around Tofana di Roses, is 4C. And Punta Ana 
is graded as 5C, I believe. And when I started it, I was like, this isn't anything special. Always speaking too soon. <laughs> I think the main challenge so far has been not having good footholds. No shortage of steep sections on this Via Ferrata. Nice, more Tofana. That must be Tofana di Mezzo, 3,200 and something meters. Looks like there's more barracks over there. Yesterday I bought a slice of pizza and it expired yesterday as well. But you know what they say, pizza is always better the next day. And it is. Damn. Even Connaught pizza in Italy is good. One summit done, one more to go. Next Via Ferrata is Gianni Aglio. You gotta give it to the Italians for having their root in the most creative, creatively exposed place. That is just crazy. This just turned out to be an incredible Via Ferrata and I didn't even finish it yet. It's continuing up on that little lovely ridge up there. That is one big ladder. <sighs> it's awesome being literally at the top of these mountains because when you see them from Cortina or from a distance, you always kind of imagine 
what it is like up there but it's like this a really awesome land formations Here's the thing about heights. Like most fears, if you keep exposing yourself to it, you'll be fine. I haven't been around this type of exposure for a year. And it scared me. You have to go down on that ledge with that drop. Woo! Oh. Big drop. Oh my god. Don't look down. <laughs> Don't look down indeed. Oh my god. It continues there. Yeah. <sighs> nice one. Well done. Yeah. Oh my days. <sighs> the crawl of shame. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty scary. Those ledges, those lips are so, so slippery. And they're like that in an angle. Even my hand is shaking. So when you put your foot on it, it starts like sliding down. And my hands were sweating and I have bloody sunscreen still on them. So I was just sliding down on that bar as well. I honestly stopped for 10 minutes here and thought to myself if I can actually do the last one. I knew if I wasn't going to do it, I would be really pissed off with myself for the rest of the week. Like the final sections of climbing are about to begin. On the other side is a little section where they used to shoot from the soldiers. <sighs> What the landscape. <sighs> Looks like that system is going to the summit. There's still a long way to go to the Fana di Mezzo. Days like this are definitely testing. 
I went into today knowing it was going to be tough, but I didn't expect it to be this difficult. <sighs> Character building days. They're lightning storms from like 2 p.m. I think it's nearly 12 now. Oh my god, finally. Yes! Good job, Lorenzo. Thank you very much. Me too, me too. Nice one, nice one, guys. Well done. When did you get here? <laughs> you got here very fast. Well done. <laughs> my hands are even destroyed. Destroyed. <laughs> Everybody's hands are destroyed. That was a very short lived summit, but thunderstorm predictions are ahead. I don't think Viv would be very impressed with me pushing through. That thing is a rock window through the mountain. I'm gonna pass through and go to where I need to be. Look at that. And look at all that scree I have to go through now. This shit is honestly more dangerous than the Via Ferrata itself. Ta-da! Here I come, car park. It's time for some difficult business time to rate this Via Ferrata. So there are four categories in total that we're gonna look at. History, views, fun slash enjoyment, and difficulty. Each one of these categories can get the max of five points and the total score can only be 20 points. So let's start with history. When we're looking at the history of it, we're looking if there was any battle over there, if there were any elements like trenches or World War I tunnels. This Via Ferrata didn't have a lot of that, but it did have like the old like shooting spot or there were some barracks that I saw at some point. So I'm gonna give it a two out of five. Views, you have pretty much everything that you want. You have a view of Tofana di Roses, Cinque Torri. Let's give it a 4.5. Next up, fun slash enjoyment. I absolutely loved it. 4 out of 5. Solid. Enough said. And last, difficulty. So. I rambled so much that my battery died. <laughs> the last point, the difficulty of the route. So here, hardest is best. And I gave this one a 4.5 out of 5. It's not the hardest Via Ferrata that I did, but the route is really long. Longer than I expected. I have a reasonable level of fitness and I'm not amazing with heights, especially the 
the exposure aspect of it definitely kicked my ass. So in total, 15 and a half points for Puntana, Aglio, Olivieri, and Mezzo. In the next weeks, I'm gonna do at least four more Via Ferratas that were highly recommended by people online. So subscribe and stay tuned for those.